FGFR, or fibroblast growth factor receptor, is an emerging and interesting target in non-small cell lung cancer. Um, similarly to EGFR, which is epidermal growth factor receptor, FGFR is a, um, a extracellular protein, a protein that sits on the outside of the cell that receives signals from growth signals that may be produced by cells in the body. So just like epidermal growth factor receptor is the epidermis or the skin and receives signals that promote skin growth in normal cells, FGFR receives signals that promote fibroblasts to grow in normal cells. However, like EGFR, FGFR can be um, abnormally expressed either by overexpression, high expression of protein, which creates too much of it, mutations, which cause activation regardless of signals from the outside of the cell, or um, other types of alterations, maybe splicing alterations, which turn it on all the time, like a light switch that's stuck in the on position. What we've observed is that these alterations in FGFR seem to occur more in squamous cell, non-small cell lung cancer than an adenocarcinoma, which more often has EGFR mutations, KRAS mutations, or the other so far classically described mutations. The FGFR inhibitors that are in development right now uh, are targeted against potentially wild type FGFR or FGFR that's expressed on many cancer cells at an abnormally high level, or additionally against mutant FGFR, which may have different signaling properties than the normal FGFR on other cells in the body. These inhibitors, right now, most of the focus is on looking, now that they've been shown to be safe in a wide pop patient population, to look for efficacy in a very small patient population, those who had tumors with some evidence of alteration of FGFR. So most of the clinical trials ongoing right now are for patients with squamous cell, non-small cell lung cancer in the stage four advanced setting who have um, tissue available to send out and a central lab, usually through the trial, will test for FGFR alterations and determine eligibility based on that. Um, from what we've seen, it may be somewhere in the neighborhood of, of five to 20% of squamous cell lung cancers have FGFR alterations. So this is by no means a 100% of tumors look like they should be sensitive, and we haven't seen a lot of evidence about sensitivity or actual responses. There's another setting where FGFR inhibitors might be interesting too, because one of the potential mechanisms of acquired resistance to EGFR inhibitor therapy for tumors with EGFR sensitizing mutations may be overexpression of the FGFR growth factor. So FGFR may substitute for EGFR signaling if EGFR signaling is blocked by a drug like erlotinib. Um, this is probably not a predominant mechanism of acquired resistance. T790M is half of acquired resistance, and a bunch of other things account for a smaller fraction of that. So there's, there's a clinical trial that we did looking for erlotinib plus FG, and FGFR inhibitor dovitinib together. It looks like these drugs were not easy to take in combination together, plus the levels of erlotinib fell pretty dramatically when we looked due to a drug-drug interaction between the two types of drugs. So I think this is still an interesting arena where FGFR inhibitors might be useful in the future, but as of right now, we don't have evidence for it in people.